guys i'm coming back to you today with another video and this is actually going to be a foundation review and this is going to be on the nyx total control drop foundation along with the nyx no filter finishing powder so these are both of them i'm gonna also use um the nyx concealer and primer and everything but it's basically to review both of these products that i have first of all before i even get started i want to show you my hair i have a video coming out this is a braid out because i haven't done vi um hair videos lately so if you want to see how to get this there will be a link as soon as that video goes up after this but let's get started so I went to the NYX store um, I'm in West Palm Beach Florida and there's a new NYX store in the Gardens Mall so I went there and got the drops and let's see what shade did I get that's a good question. I got Mocha. So I went in there. The girl color matched me from Mocha. Because she had the similar complexion. So we did out of three. She tried. And this was the one that I liked the best. So I got Mocha. And on here it says. It has a picture of coverage. So light, medium, full. And light is two drops. Medium, three. And then full is four drops or more. So I'm kind of tempted to try it two different ways, but I'm just going to do it the way I've been doing it because it works, but I guess maybe one side I'll do one way. It tells you to shake because it's really watery. I don't know if you can hear it. It's super watery. Like, you can hear it. It reminds me of the, um, da -da -da -da, the cover FX drops. And let's see. With just a few drops, our Total Control Foundation delivers sheer to full coverage and velvety matte finish. Simply adjust the number of drops until the desired level of coverage is achieved. More drops, more coverage. So, first of all, I'm going to start off today with the NYX Primer and Prime My Face. And this is the NYX Pore Filler Primer. And I've worn this whole combination, but I'll tell you at the end how I feel about this foundation. But at least you'll get to see how it looks on your skin and I'm just gonna put it on my nose right here where I get oily in the middle of my face and go from there so now that my face is primed oh I'm not used to having my hair in my face I'm gonna go in with the drop so this is the droppers and literally I'm gonna do half my face one way and then half normally I just put the drops on there but I noticed some people like literally well you could tell when I put it on my face you'll see how watery it is it's literally like water I like fuller coverage. I didn't do enough for more than one. I like fuller coverage, so you know, I go all in for this. But I saw one girl do it, and she literally just did, like, two drops, she said. Dabbed it on her face and blended it in. I don't think that would be satisfactory for me. So, at least you can see, let me turn this down a little, where I put it on my face. And I'm literally just going to blend it in. And let me come in closer that you can actually see. That's with two drops. That's half my face. There is no way that that was going to do my whole. But even with the two drops, I don't have bad skin. So as you can see, that actually covered pretty good. It's not bad, but my thing is why... I feel like you're wasting product by putting it on the back of your hand just to do that. I see some people drop it with this stippling brush. I'm using the BH Cosmetics stippling brush. I don't feel you can drop it in there because it's going to go straight to the bottom and defeat the purpose. So, like, I always forget foundation on the back anyway, so it's like, why even bother? I'm going to take this. I like fuller foundation. And I'm going, oh, I dropped it on my chest. That sucks. <laughs> So, I guess I'm wiping more on there. But literally, this actually, the texture of this reminds me of my um, MAC um, airbrush makeup from them. And I literally drop, I just drop until I'm happy. Because I'm going to go in a second time. I always do it around my mouth. And honestly, I don't use this much for the first. But it's just not squeezing as well as normal. But I'm going to sit there, put that on, and blend in. So this is light coverage. The thing that I do love about this is mm, I don't feel like anything's on my face. Literally, you don't feel like anything's on your face. And it's amazing. And it's buildable. Because you saw the light coverage. This is like light to full coverage. And when I put it on, it's supposed to dry. I don't know. The girl says it's matte. 
I don't feel like it dries matte, maybe like a natural matte, but if you look at my skin, you can actually see it kind of looks a bit glowy and moisturized. I don't have any moisturizer on my face because I literally just like um, use the wipe to clean it off and my wipe doesn't have any oil residue on it. And this is with a primer, so it looks like it has a little glow to it. And that for me is full coverage. Like, yeah. That was enough to be full coverage. For me, normally, because I do do less the first time, I'll go back in and just drop it around my mouth. As you can see, I'm not going over my eyes again. So I do have a little discoloration. I feel like underneath my eyes is darker. But this is it. It's light. Nothing feels like it's on your skin. It's like putting moisturizer on, which is awesome. And as you can see, like, I have full coverage. You can saw before I have, like, marks there and a few on my cheeks. You don't see anything. And that is the perfect match for me. Look at that. So, Mocha, if you're close to my complexion, I can pull off a NW45 and MAC Cosmetics. Next, I'm going in and it's with their concealer, and I bought their NYX HD concealer. I told you before, I like their concealer. I actually had the duo with the contour and the highlight, and I loved that. So, I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to just take it and put it underneath my eyes to brighten. And that's it. After that, I'm just going to take this with another NYX V5, their vegan line, and just blend that in. And I told you with their concealers, like literally, for me, their concealers like have an orange tint to it. So it's like it's correcting at the same time. So this is like my corrector and concealer all in one, which is awesome. So that's on my face. And I've worn this. I honestly tried it with a different setting powder because I bought this no filter. And honestly, I don't care for the no filter. Like, a lot of people say it's supposed to be comparable to MAC's um, Mineralized Skin Finish. I personally don't feel like it. It looks like it, though. See, this is what got me. I was like, oh my gosh, it's the same. But it's a finishing powder. And even if I take some, like, you can see it on my finger. Like, I don't know. I don't like the way it goes on. It looks like it gives a white tint. So, more than likely, yeah. It looks like it. I've worn it. And I don't feel like it even holds up worth it. So, on this one, you put it, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, but it's one of those things, like, I feel like it gives a white tint. I don't know if you can see it on here. To me, it leaves a white tint. I don't feel like this is a powder you can wear by itself. You see that difference? So, I personally don't care for it for that reason, and I don't feel like it makes my face matte. And you know what? It could just be the foundation, too. But even, yeah, I don't like how this powder works. So this is with the powder, and that is literally the whole face using NYX. So as you can see, this is my face. My face looks amazing. My skin looks healthy. It looks glowy still. doesn't look completely matte. You can tell, but it still has like a glow to it. So it looks healthy, but I still think this powder leaves like a white tint to my face. But my skin doesn't look bad. So personally on this, the foundation, I do like it. I think it's great. Gives good coverage. It's light. I think this is a good day foundation. I would never wear it out though because I don't feel like it's oily friendly. You can see when I put it on, my skin looks moisturized. And literally I feel like I get so oily like super quick with this. You're going to have to blot at least once or twice a day. At least once or twice. And especially with this, I feel like this does nothing to help with mattifying it. So this is like useless for me as far as I'm concerned. So I think it's nice to be on, but I feel like it's more combination skin, dry skin. It's not oily girl friendly. If you want to wear it to work, you work inside. Like I will, I bought it. I'm going to wear it. The powder I might return because I don't care for it at all, but I'm going to wear it and I'll wear it to work, but my skin still has a glow to it. It's still moisturized and I think it's going to help. You can play with the primers and like a more mattifying powder, but I personally don't consider this like, oh my gosh, I have to wear this or buy it again. It's great because there's nothing on your face. If you want to quit, go something light and be out the door, run errands, it's perfect. But it's not something you would wear out. So thank you for taking the time out to watch. I hope it wasn't too long. But thank you for taking the time out to watch. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.